Water-soluble hormones include insulin, adrenaline, and many others. Unlike lipid-soluble hormones, water-soluble hormones can't penetrate the cell membrane. The receptor molecules for these hormones are located on the surface of the target cells. The binding part projects out from the cell membrane. When the hormone binds to its target receptor, this stimulates a chain of reactions inside the cell. The details are complex and we'll just focus on key features of the process. First, the binding changes the shape of the other end of the receptor molecule inside the cell. Second, this activated part of the receptor usually initiates reactions that produce many copies of a small molecule which diffuse freely through the cytoplasm. This molecule is known as a secondary messenger, the hormone being the first messenger. Different receptors activate different secondary messengers. Some common ones are cyclic AMP, G proteins and calcium. The secondary messenger triggers a further sequence or cascade of reactions. Typically, each step activates an enzyme and once activated, each enzyme can activate many copies of the next enzyme in the sequence. Let's say one molecule of enzyme A activates 10 copies of enzyme B. Each copy of B activates 10 copies of enzyme C, and so on. There is an enormous multiplying effect, or amplification, of the original signal.